So the film Halloween came out in 1978 and was directed by John Carpenter and is probably one of the most influential horror films of all time, considering that it popularized one of the most famous subgenres in horror, the slasher. I didn't want to say created because I'm part of the group that says Texas Chainsaw Massacre definitely grounded exactly what a slasher is or something along the lines of that. But Halloween is one of, like, the three influential films. I don't count Texas Chainsaw Massacre because you don't see many of these two often out of their own franchise. Unless they're, like, crappy knockoffs. But I say Halloween because it did the babysitter low-budget slasher, which has... And, like, not babysitter, but, like, just stuff done in singular location, town, mass killer around streets. That's came from Halloween. Then we have Friday the 13th. I'd like to say part three or four because mass killer at summer camp killing kids. That's definitely more prominent than that, but this did come out after that, so it was kind of a knockoff of Halloween. And then child's play because doll. But I have a nice relationship with Halloween. It's definitely one of my favorite horror films of all time behind Hereditary and The Shining. Um, I love almost everything about this movie. Now I'm a sucker for a slasher. I'm not a sucker for a bad slasher. I like a decently good one to a great one. This is a great one. And see, the thing about Halloween is that it was the first slasher film I've ever saw. The first horror film in general I've ever seen altogether was The Shining. Long story. But Halloween was the first horror film I've ever saw. I watched it on demand, AMC, I remember, it was like in 2018, right after the new film came out, everyone was like, or maybe it was when it came out, I don't know, but I, I watched it on TV, a TV edit of Halloween, and now I've seen it roughly seven times, I watch it a couple times a year, and this is definitely the time of year where I watch it. Uh, I love Michael Myers. I'm glad they didn't pull a Friday the 13th where they have the mom doing it. I don't like that movie. Um, but this one is just so fun. Uh, they say popcorn a lot, which makes me hungry for popcorn. Um, so let's talk about Jamie Lee Curtis for a second. I like Jamie Lee Curtis. She was great in this movie. She's definitely probably one of the best parts. Um... Not the best part, but one of the best parts. Uh, she was in My Girl. Uh, that movie was a lot. <laughs> um, and it's definitely, she's kind of the main final girl. Which, uh, it's, she's definitely the soul of this movie. She's the innocent, she's like our audience surrogate. Where we get to see the world through her eyes because we're mainly with her. Or, the best part about this movie, Donald Pleasance as Dr. Loomis. The best, most obnoxious, funnest character in horror today. Like, even to this day, he is still the most yes person ever. Uh, Dr. Loomis is... He, he hates kids. Um, he's just... He's a madman. He's nuts. I could imagine him in, like, the Telltale Heart or something. That Donald Pleasance is amazing. He is the most wackiest character ever, and I love him so much. Rest in peace, Donald Pleasance. You made one of the best horror characters to ever walk this, walk this screen or on the earth. Michael Myers is good in this one. I do like that... The, it's toned down. I, I like horror movies. So saying I like a kill sounds weird to people who don't like horror movies. How do you like watching people die? I... It, a horror movie is one of those things is that you can't explain why you like the kills and stuff if you don't like horror movies. Um, they're definitely super calm. Not, no, not calming, but like silent. And this movie is very well at building tension. This movie does a really good job at building tension. It ramps up. It ramps up to the big finale. And it all smoothly fits together. Um, John Carpenter did an incredible job. It is a really well shot film. There's a couple shots that you... Yeah, there's really good shots in this film. Um, Ghost Bob, 
yeah, I mean, I really recommend this one. Uh, it doesn't have that. Yeah, it doesn't really have nudity in it, but just nah. Watch it. Um, it's a really good movie. The music, great. Uh, I really love the first two films. I can't say much for the rest. I can't say that for much of the rest of the series. I didn't wasn't the biggest fan of the 2018 film, but I am really incredibly excited for. Uh, it's probably already come out by this time, but I've yet to seen it. But I am incredibly excited. Halloween Kills. This looks awesome. Uh, I love Halloween. Once again, I have a good relationship with it. Uh, I still... I like the tropes, but it doesn't feel like a trope. This one, it just feels different. You know? And I don't like it because it's the original. I like it because it's good. Put that in the quote book. Um, but yeah, John Carpenter did an incredible job. I've still yet to see The Thing, because the disc I have is like, imagine, so it's like a rectangle in the middle of the screen. And it is very annoying. Um, so yeah, but Halloween still stands as one of the greatest films ever made. Uh, it is better than Friday the 13th, in my opinion. It is better than Nightmare on Elm Street, which I actually think is kind of boring. Uh, the first... Yeah, the first Nightmare on Elm Street, I tried to watch it, and I just... Um, I would have gotten killed by Freddy. Let's just say that. <laughs> um, I've seen it once before, and I got through half of it the last time I tried to watch it, which was like two months ago. But if you don't know my rating system, Halloween... A golden ticket is an 8 out of 10 to a 9 out of 10, and a trophy is a 9.5 out of 10 to a 10 out of 10. I give Halloween an 8.5 out of 10, which is going to be the highest rating for each film in the series. An 8.5 out of 10. It is incredibly artistic. I don't want to call it an art film, but it is definitely one of my favorite films ever. I think it's like number 5 or 6 or something. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Have a happy Halloween. This is coming out way before Halloween, I think. And uh, see you guys next time for Halloween 2. Stay gold, everyone. Fix the quote. I finished the book and figured out saying the wrong quote the whole time.